I recently read, I think it was in, in, the, in the newspaper, that the most expensive area, uh, or one of the most expensive areas in Worcestershire and the West Midlands was actually the Licky Hills and Barnt Green. So what I want to do today is just drive through Barnt Green and the Licky Hills so you can see yourself uh, the affluence of this location. And today it's, it's a beautiful day. Uh, it is actually around 16 or so, 16, 17 degrees. And um, in, well, it is actually spring, so I think it's May. We are in May at the moment. So I'm just driving through at the moment on the old Birmingham Road. And this is actually more Marlbrook than the Lickies. Uh, on the left, you see the local garage, Licky Hills Garage. And on the right hand side, you've got a, a couple of farms. And on the left, you can see some you know, fairly decent houses. And you, you won't get that much change out of a million pounds for some of these properties that you will see shortly. And as I continue to drive towards the Lickies, um, on the right hand side is Licky Grange. And this is a gated community. Um, I'll just drive in and show you, uh, have a quick look around. And there's quite a few gated houses in this area. And this is one of them. I won't be able to go that much further in because there is a gate, so you can see a gate here. I have been in there before uh, several times, but this is one of the, the gated areas in the Licky Hills. And you've got some really nice houses inside there. I'm just gonna drive out. You can see a lot of the houses do have cameras here. Um, so I'll say hello to the cameras as I, as I drive through. And I'll pull out of this now and continue my way into the Lickies. So if I go right here, which is where I was going before, you will see a sign saying Licky. And of that, as of that point, we will actually be in the Licky Hills or, or Licky. Across the road from me, in, uh, in front of me, you'll see it as I drive out, uh, is a farm and you will have several farms around here. So you can see here, the sign for Licky, Worcestershire. I've just been in Licky Grange and continuing through, you've got farms on the left, and also the right hand side uh, you've got a farm there as well so several farms here and again you can see the greenery of the area this location is not that far from Birmingham it is part of the commuter belt to Birmingham so you get quite a lot of professional services um, people living in this location so solicitors accountants doctors just to name a few and, and, and quite a few business owners as well. I'm going to go into Alf Church Highway now on the left here. So this is Alf Church Highway. Again, we are still in the Lickies here. If I had continued on the old Birmingham Road, we would have come to the local school in the Lickies, which is Licky Hills Primary School. But again, I'm just driving through Alf Church Highway now so you can see the beauty of this location and why this is the most expensive area uh, within this location or for, for several miles around here and you do have houses uh, dotted around here as well uh, on the right hand side and you can't really see them from the road but we do have properties here and people do live here obviously so just driving through here we will also go into the, the Licky Hills Country Park as well which is what this area is famous for. Now this road here, it can get very, very treacherous in the snow. And we are around a thousand feet, at least a thousand feet above sea level here. So this road does become very, very icy. And also you get a lot of snow here as well in the winter. So if you were to move to this location, just make sure you have a four by four and you'll see a few of them as we drive down. Although you won't see any snow today or ice because it is very warm. Well, not very warm, it is nice. But again, in the winter, it gets very, very snowy here and icy. On the left, I don't know if you, I'm going to just stop here for a few minutes uh, or seconds even. On the left, you can see, or you should be able to see the Malvern Hills. So I'll ask my, my beautiful attend, my assistant on the, on the sitting next to me to pan the camera around. And you can see there, those are the Malvern, the Malvern Hills. So you've got the Malvern Hills there. And again, another thing about this location, uh, whether it's good or bad, more bad I suppose, for drivers is, is the amount of, of um, tractors you get. 
so I'm just waiting here now as, a, as I'm waiting for a tractor to go past and you can probably see it coming down now we do get a lot of tractors in this location being semi-rural you, you will get a lot of incidences of, of tractors and farm traffic driving past so I'm just waiting for this tractor to go past and then I'll continue on and he didn't even wave to me to say thank you but uh, so be it and I'll just continue down and you can see the mess is made on the road as well driving down to the left we have we do have further farms as you can see and um, I'm just driving out of the Lickies now I think we are still in the Lickies as we move towards Lydia's to Ash and you've got a uh, a small number of houses on this road but what I will do is I'll, I want to keep this video to the Lickies and Barton Green so I will uh, I think go left at the bottom and come back in again so that we can make sure that we stay within this location and don't move on to other locations but if I was to continue down this road I'll just show you if I go left here just go left here and then take the first right. I'll just take the first right here. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Lydia's Ash Road. I'm not going to go or leave this road. I'm going to turn around if I can further down. But this road uh, to the bottom and on the right, uh, and if you were to go right at the bottom, you will actually come to the M5. So there's a roundabout to the right at the bottom. So if you are commuting somewhere and you want to live near the, the motorway and this is not that far from the M5 in fact it's, it's probably just 100 yards or so from the M5 I'm going to turn around here and you, you'll notice a few cars on the road here and we get or you, well you, you'll find there's a quite often car showers that will drop their car off here and then continue on with their friend or colleague onto the motorway to wherever they want to go so this road you do tend to get commuters on this road and dropping their cars off and, and you know jumping off onto the motorway, the M5. Across the road from me is Singleton's, which is a nursery, so if you want to buy a few plants, aggregate and so on, that's the place for you. And I will go right here. So this is more the back end of Marlbrook now, but we're, we're not far from, from the Lickies, and I will go back in uh, to the Lickies and show you around in, in a lot more detail but I'm just driving down here and you can see again it's a beautiful location there's not much um, well actually, there's a lot of greenery here so you've got a fair few farms and also obviously there's some properties here as well that you can see on the left hand side and if I if I turn left at the bottom here then go back onto the old Birmingham Road and show you the back streets of the Lickies before we go into Barton Green. So again, this is more Marlbrook than the Lickies. I'm only really on this road because um, it's easier for me to do it this way. I don't have a specific plan. I'm just going to drive around. Uh, through the roads of the Lickies and Barn Green and hope that this is you know a good conservative guide for you so that uh, if you want to see the area from afar uh, this video will serve its purpose there's a travel lodge across the road from here so if you want to fancy a bit of travel lodging <laughs> you can jump jump into that there's a Miller and Carter steakhouse as well <coughs> So again, uh, like I said earlier, this is more Marlbrook than Licky, but Marlbrook adjoins Licky and then Licky adjoins Barn Green. There's a you know a good crossover between the Licky Hills or Licky and Barn Green, as you'll see as I I drive down. We will also jump into the the country park as well, and just just the car park. Uh, I won't actually get out just to show you uh, the location and and the beauty this location so on the left here on the corner it is actually there's a Tesco there if I was to go straight across this road I'd end up in 
it's like bang in the middle of Barton Green. But what I'll do is I'll drive around Licky for a bit before we, we jump into Barton Green. And if you're into your cars, I think that's an M4 in front of me. And, you know, quite a nice, decent car. And you will see, if, you, if you're into car spotting, again, this area is also good for, for car spotting. So you got, you know, especially in, in summer, you'll see a lot of, of, of half decent cars. So you'll get your, your Ferraris, obviously quite a few Porsches, Beamers, Audis, Mercs. There's also many, many Range Rovers around here. Um, Bentleys, there's about, you know, just, just earlier saw a Bentley Bentayga. Rolls Royces, I, I just saw my first electric Rolls Royce earlier as well. And that was just down on the road from here. So again, this is Marlbrook and we're gonna drive into the Lickies. So we've got Barn Green, the Licky Hills today. And again, I think I saw it online and the most expensive and affluent area, or one of the most expensive affluent areas in, in the Midlands, West Midlands, and or in Worcestershire. So Barn Green and the Licky Hills were number one. And then you've got other villages like, I think, Dodgeford and Balbroughton, uh, Hagley, Alf Church, and also Licky End, which is further up. But again, on top of that, the list was Barn Green and the Licky Hills. So as you can see, another country lane we are now going up on the bottom there you can see some rubbish again that is a problem with some of these areas we do get fly tipping here and i don't know what the solution is other than to obviously be very very aware there are cameras here and there however you will still get fly tipping in this location as you would in most country lanes again farms to the left farms to the right i'm gonna turn right here so if you want to know where I am this is Beacon Lane I'm gonna turn right at Beacon Lane in fact no I'm not I will go I will, I will go go straight on so if I was to turn right there was Alf Church Highway we've already been on that been on that road so no need to show you that again continuing on this road Beacon Lane we have as you can see no doubt farms to the left and right of us so in the Licky Hills again and on the left and right is a cow farm so whatever that means that there's less cows basically in the fields you might see them as a drive down but we do have cows here just to mention there's a lot of horse riders here as well a lot of horse riders we're now at probably you know almost the highest point one of the highest points on the roads in the Lickies and my set now is actually saying uh, 270 yards but on the left and right there are cows I don't know if you, you caught, a, caught any cows but yeah 270 yards 280 yards now it's a shame my car doesn't do it in feet <laughs> it's, 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 it's been set for yards and I haven't had a chance to change it into feet but in feet we are beyond or well beyond a thousand feet above sea level so there is property to the left and right again mostly farms to drive slowly so you can see where we are and take in the surroundings but you can see over and over again it's a very very beautiful place and it is expensive to live here but to be honest for peace of mind for nature or to be in with nature it really is a lovely place I'm going to continue down straight so you can see this road as well again this is you know quite a treacherous road and it does say unsuitable for heavy goods vehicles um, we we're at 310 yards now, so probably the highest point uh, in the Licky is 320 yards. I'm just reading out my set now, but then we're going to come down. So even though it's May 2024, you can see a sign in front indicating snowflakes or potential snow and ice. Because we are so high up, you do get ice and snow here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the bottom of this road. On the right-hand side are the Licky Hills. And we'll just drive into the car park so you can see that but I will go back up again on this road because this road actually leads into into Rubri. I'm not really gonna show you Rubri today we're gonna stay on the side of Barn Green and the Licky Hills if you do have a heavy goods vehicle I don't recommend this road especially in the winter even in an SUV it can get quite slippery going down this road um, it is quite a narrow road and I'm 
showing you this road for the purposes of showmanship. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're now in Rubri here. So on, on the border of Rubri, but what I'll do is I'm going to turn around and go back up again. So I'll find a, a safe place to turn. In fact, I'll, I'll go into this road and, and turn around at the bottom. And then we'll go back into the Lickies and Barton Green. Hopefully I can find somewhere to turn. And this looks like a suitable place, so I'll turn around here. So these houses not very far from the Lickies at all. And what we'll do now is we'll go back up that road and I will drive into the Licky Hills. So you can see what the Licky Hills are all about. Very, very beautiful around here. Whether it's the spring, summer or winter or even autumn, it really is like being on holiday. And a lot of people do come here from cities to chill out. So I will turn right here and go back into the Lickies. So on the, on the left here, we have the Licky Hills. You, you can actually go in to the Licky Hills from there. In fact, from any of these points where you can find space. And many a time you may get the odd deer crossing here. Obviously we have a lot of foxes here. You do get a lot of foxes on this, in this location, but also deer too. And I've driven in, in this area for, you know, for quite a while. And there's many a time when I've seen deer cross the road. In fact, I was driving down a few years ago uh, in one of the country lanes and had to slam down my brakes because there was actually a deer standing in the middle of the road. And it goes without saying, horses, a lot of horses here, horse riders, good place for that deer. And also a lot of SUVs here for obvious reasons. So 320 yards again, very, very high up, well over a thousand feet. And again, you can see why this is an attractive area. It doesn't, I don't have to say anything, but you can probably see why it's so beautiful around here. I'm gonna turn into Monument Lane here on the left and see if I can get into Beacon Hill. It does say road closed ahead, so I won't go all the way through. <coughs> In fact, I might go what I'll do is I'll show you the show you Beacon Hill first, Licky Hills Country Park. So if I go left here, this is actually the car park to Beacon Hill, part of the Licky Hills Country Park. And I'll just have a quick drive through this car park so you can have a look around, and then we'll pull out again. So this gets very very busy in the summer. Not so busy in the winter. Or when it's raining but in the summer it gets very very busy and this road or this car park is very undulating which is why I'm flying all over the place so if you want to go for a walk we do get dog walkers here as well if you want to go for a walk get a bit of fresh air in it is oops very very beautiful and at the moment there's only two four six eight ten you know about a dozen or so vehicles today in the wind in the um Sorry, in the summer when it's really, really nice, you will get the ice, the old ice cream van here, and also you get a lot of people, a lot of people from outside the area coming in to look around. So if I show you that the area, um, it, it, it is very, very beautiful. But I will continue on. I'm not going to hang around here for too long. Uh, I'm going to reverse back out. And we'll drive down Monument Lane so you can see some of the properties on Monument Lane. A lot of very, very large, beautiful houses um, on Monument Lane. And if I just turn the car here, in front of me are the Morven Hills. So just give it, give it a second while I turn around. So you've got that bluish hue. Kind of like reminds me of when I was in Australia in a place called Katumba and the Blue Mountains. And in front of me, I'll just park my car here for a few seconds. You can see the Malvern Hills. Very, very beautiful. The Malvern Hills in the distance. And behind me, you've got the Licky Hills. So Malvern Hills in front of me and behind me, the Licky Hills. 
So what I'll do now is I'm going to pull out once that truck in front of me goes. I don't know what he's got in there. Has he got pigeons in there? Chickens? No idea. Just one thing to bear in mind as well is that sometimes in the evenings, especially in the summer, you get a lot of revelers here getting their barbecues out and Monument Lane where they've got the there's temporary fences in front of me all this area gets filled up with with cars because this car park closes at dusk and um, although it says no barbecues or fires allowed I have seen people in the past come down this road park here and have barbecues in the Licky Hills uh, which is actually frowned upon but people do still do it and also on New Year's Eve this road becomes chock-a-block this road is chock-a-block on New Year's Eve where you have a lot of people coming here to see the New Year in and you know shoot off their fireworks or whatever else on the 31st of December so again something to bear in mind I'm going to drive through slowly so you can see some of the houses here so on the right we do have some beautiful properties and again just to remind you we are on Monument Lane it did say that the road was closed further down and I don't know if it is but we'll see as I continue down if it is closed um, we'll just go back up Alchich Highway or something and into Barn Green so we are still in the Lickies in the Licky Hills and you might be able to see some of the houses here it looks like it was bin day today uh, what day is it today wednesday so it looks like wednesday is bin day here and yeah a very very nice road to live on and if i just ask my assistants to turn the camera a little bit you can see some of the properties here started yet so luckily the road was not closed and we'll continue on here and I will show you Licky Hills Country Park so if I was to go straight here in fact let me think um, yeah I will go straight if I go straight if I go left here you end up in Birmingham if you go right you end up in Bromsgrove I am currently still in the Licky Hills and I will now go into the Licky Hills Country Park again, different car park and show you this area as well. So Warren Lane here actually goes into, it's, by the way this is a horrible road, so very very potholy and bumpy, oops, so I'm going to have to go a little bit slow and again this is the entrance or rather one of the entrances is to car park entrance to the Licky Hills Country Park. Terrible road. So even though I'm in SUV, fairly big vehicle, um, still a bit of a struggle to go through, go through this. I would not recommend you shooting down this road. It's not a very nice road. Mm. So you can probably hear the shakes as I go in and out, weave through these potholes. this road has not been fixed for a very very long time so I'm now going to drive into the Licky Hills so this is the Warren Lane entrance so the main entrance to the Licky Hills and there are houses here as well look houses to the left not not a huge amount maybe three to five houses there so they have a you know very good place to live I'm, I'm guessing they probably got the odd deer that runs through their garden in the evening. What I'll do now is I'll drive into the car park. I'm not going to get out just to show you uh, the car park and the entrance. 
entrance to the Licky Hills and then we'll drive back out again and we'll move into Barton Green. We've got the Priory to the left and as I go in to the Licky Hills Country Park car park it does say that park gates are locked at 8.45 p.m. 8.45 p.m. the gates will lock and that time changes so in the winter it'll be earlier on the left you can see a sign Licky Hills Country Park Visitor Centre Car Park horses and cyclists please use bridleways only please keep dog and please keep dogs under control no barbecues or fires and caution high winds so we are still fairly high up at the moment looking at my sat nav 280 yards Again, sorry, it's in yards above sea level. I'm just gonna drive through. So on both sides there, you can see cars parked and there's actually a sign up, which I can see myself, which says park opening and closing times. So January, in fact, throughout the year, the park will, car park will open at 7.30 and then it closes at 16.45. second while I allow this car to pass. The car park closes at 16.45 in January, in Feb 17.45, in March 6.15 p.m. April 6.45 is when the car park closes and May it closes at 9.15, 9.45, August it closes at 9.15, back down to 8.45 and 8.15 in September. Six, and then October 7.15 and then November 4.45 so depending on what time of year it is the car park will close at different times so that is what I've been reading I don't know if you can see that so the car park closes at different times so let's continue on driving deeper into the into the Lickies. And again you can see how beautiful the Licky Hills are. At the moment the car parks in the Licky Hills are free, which means you don't pay. However, I've heard and read in places that these car parks will become chargeable which means that they'll have pay and display here potentially so I'm just going to drive around and again in the distance you can see I think I'm pointing towards Birmingham so again very very beautiful around here and we'll just have a, a sip of water and then we'll continue on Again, I wouldn't recommend shooting down this car park. It's not the, the best of surfaces, very, very stony. And I'm driving slowly so you can see the area and see how beautiful it actually is. And I'm sure you're now beginning to understand why the Licky Hills and Barn Green are the most expensive and sought of areas to reside in, to live in, in in the West Midlands and also in Worcestershire and what I'll do now is I'll drive down to the bottom and turn the car around and we'll go back out so you should be able to see how beautiful the Licky Hills are from the car park here and I'll just reverse and go back out and then we'll drive into Barton Green in fact what I'll probably do is I just want to quickly show you maybe the school as well. So there's two schools there, one's in the Licky Hills, primary schools, one's in Barton Green, obviously you've got some in Alf Church as well, but we're only focusing on the Licky Hills and Barton Green here. I'll just quickly drive past the school so you can see the school as well, and then we'll have a, a drive through uh, into Barton Green. 
So a lot of people here are not local. So these are visitors from other locations. They park here, have a walk, make a mess and go home. And of course, if you are visiting this area, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, area. Don't make a mess. Or well, if you do make a mess, please take it home with you because the locals get a bit unhappy. see the mess that non-locals make when they are visiting the area. So I just want to quickly show you Leaky Hills Primary School. Currently the time is two o'clock so there shouldn't be any kids around. But again, <coughs> excuse me, oh, <laughs> another road hump. Um, the old Birmingham Road, which is where the school is on, can get a very busy in the mornings and also in the afternoon. So in the mornings around 8 a.m. you'll see lines of cars. There's a squirrel there by the way, I don't know if you caught that. You'll see lines of cars on the Old Birmingham Road and also in the afternoon from 2.30 onwards you will see up until about 4, 4.30 lines of cars as parents come in to pick up their kids. So we've got a fair few speed bumps here that I'm navigating as I go through, giving my car a good beating. As I go along, what I'll do is I'll go straight up here because the road, we're on lane's not really the most comfortable road to drive on, but I'm going to go this way. Go back onto the old Birmingham road, whisk past the school, and go straight into, into Barton Green. However, before I forget, I want to show you another entrance. I almost forgot to do this actually. I'll show you the other entrance to Licky Hills, and that's the golf course. So there's a golf course in the Licky Hills as well. I'm just going to drive down. I'm glad I remembered that. I'm just going to drive down into the golf course, which is on the left hand side here. Uh, just bear with me. It's not this first left here. This is actually a hotel. Uh, this is Hills Court. Accommodation, bistro bar function, rooms, and conference centre. It's not that entrance, it's the next entrance on the left. And as, I, as I'm going down, please do look at the view marvel at the view so i'm gonna go left here the rose and crown hotel which i think was in that tv program oh, i think is it for i forgot the name of that program now where they go around visiting bed and breakfasts and quantifying the quality of these places i think this this hotel was in there but look at this another extremely beautiful location there is also a lake here as well, <coughs> and also a cafe. There was a cafe in, in um, <coughs> excuse me, where I was before as well, in Licky Hills. But there's a cafe here too, and I'm just gonna drive in the car park. And just bear in mind, was it last year, or a couple of years ago, the Licky Hills caught fire. So this car park, um, the fire engines went in from this car park as one of the many locations, but in front of me, um, is the golf course which wasn't on fire the fire was actually deeper in the in the forest but on the left is a, is a putting green and also you've got the golf course and uh, you can't see the lake here but there is a lake there as well so again this is another entrance to the Licky Hills Country Park and even though it is Wednesday today at 2 p.m. there's a lot of cars here so I'm gonna just nip down here and turn around so you can see again how beautiful the Licky Hills are. So I'm just gonna drive around here and drive back out again. A little bit muddy every time I bring my car here, it needs a wash. And yeah, if you are going for a walk here, please do put on your walking boots. <coughs> a few weeks ago, I came for a walk here in my walking boots and walked into three feet of mud. So I'd even recommend wellies depending on depending on the weather. So I'm just gonna pull out here. Back onto the road I was on before, which is Rose Hill. What I'll do is I'll go onto Rose Hill. Again, you, as, as I'm going out, you can see the, the beautiful cottage in front of me. Again, an example of the properties around here. I'm gonna go left here and then turn back around again. And the reason I want to go left is because I just want to show you 
um, the border with Crofton Hackett. So Crofton Hackett is is this this part is now Crofton Hackett. And again, this is on the borderline of the Lickies and Barn Green. <coughs> but what I'll do is we'll go into Crofton Hackett and turn back around again into the Lickies and then we'll drive into Barn Green. So I'm just going to drive down to the bottom here. Hopefully I've got enough battery time. I was only expecting this video to be half an hour or so, but I think we're up to 35 minutes now, but that's okay. You've got the oak tree to the left. I am now in Cofton Hackett. I'm not going to go all the way into Cofton Hackett. We're going to turn around. And again, the reason I'm doing this is to show you how beautiful it is around here. So you've got Cofton Park, I think it is, to the left. Another park, another example of greenery, and I will turn right here into Tan Ashes Lane and go back into the Lickies. And this is another beautiful road. I'm going to drive slowly through here so you can see how beautiful this location is. I mean, look at that in front of me. Still fairly high up, a thousand feet or so. drive down here and turn right and then we'll go into the Licky Hills again and out into Barn Green. <coughs> so I'm going to turn right here because I've got a few of the roads to go in. And again, in front of me, you've got the Licky Hills. This is a bit of a, a steep, a steep turn to the right. So if you're a learner driver, not a road to, not a road I'd recommend. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so if you can read that sign, Cofton to the right, Bromswood to the left, Birmingham straight ahead. So we'll keep this video to the Licky. So I'm going to go left here. back into the Lickies and again this road here Rose Hill it's a very steep road so if you've got a one litre car you will struggle going up this and again <clears throat> in the winter this does get snowed under you will get snowed under here in the winter and it gets very very icy on this road but again you, you get the um, you do get the, the lorries going up and down, chucking sand everywhere, the critters, and the roads that they miss are the smaller roads, which I'll show you shortly. And I have seen many a car skid on this road in the winter. So if you were to move into the Lickies or into Barn Green around here, you would, or well, the recommendation is to have at least um, a car that's four wheel drive or an SUV <coughs> or good tyres on your car. So I'm driving back up Rose Hill now. To the left you've got the entrance that I showed you earlier of Warren Lane. Warren Lane and the entrance to the, to the Licky Hills. And we've been through that already, not showing you that again. And as I continue through, on the right you've got Monument Lane. <coughs> you've got the Trinity Centre on the right. This is the local petrol station for the, for the Lickies and Barn Green. So total energies, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn right here, <coughs> excuse me, and show you one of the entrances into the Licky Hills Primary School. If you've got kids there, so this is High House Drive, and on the right hand side is is the Licky Hills. So you've got the Country Park on the right hand side, and you've got properties to the left. So if you have a look, you can see them. Again, this is a very nice road. It's a no through road. So I will have to turn, <coughs> turn around at the bottom. <coughs> so again, really nice road to live on. Directly opposite. 
uh, Vicky Hills. But on the left here, I'm not going to go in, but on the left here, I'm just going to do that, is actually, that's one of the entrances to the Licky Hills Primary School. What we'll do is we'll go right down to the bottom and turn around and then back out again into the Lickies and now into Bond Green. So again, you, you can see the, the properties here. And there's a, there's a space at the bottom where I can potentially turn around and I'll do that um, if this car allows me. So I'm going to turn around here and the reason I'm going to turn around like this is so you can see the view as I turn around. So it's a bit of a, a tight turning circle but I will manage to do it having a big car but you can see there's a farm in front of me and there's a dog looking at me <laughs> but I'm not scared of dogs so it's okay he's giving me the all you know <laughs> he's getting ready for the attack but you but here I mean check out this view if you can see it that is I'm going to park here for two seconds while you look at the view. Luckily, I've got a camera at the back so I can see what's happening. But look at that view. That looks like the Morvan Hills. So, that is the Morvan Hills in front of us. So, very, very nice. And you've got the, the blue hue of the mountains. And as I continue going down, can see some of the the properties here again <coughs> to the left and the right so I'll drive down slowly so as a reminder this is high house drive high house drive <coughs> in the Lickies on the right hand side here is the entrance, or further down, no there it is, it's gone, it was the entrance to the Licky Hills Primary School, and the main entrance is further down the road, and we'll just do that now, we'll just go down to the main entrance and I can show you that as well. So just bear with me. here and drive past the main entrance to the primary school there. <coughs> so as I go down here you will see this is actually the entrance, so I'm going to go right here. This is actually the entrance to Leaky Hills Primary School. I'm going to go in for obvious reasons. But you can see that there, that's the local primary school. And I'll come back out again. <coughs> so that was the entrance to Leaky Hills Primary School. What I will do <coughs> is we will now drive into Barn Green. So you can see the sign there, Licky, Licky School Main Entrance. So what I'll do, I'll drive into Barton Green now, and we'll have a look around Barton Green. So that was the local primary school in the Licky Hills. And further up, we'll show you Barton Green. <coughs> so again, one of the values of living in this area is the proximity to, if you work in, in Birmingham for example, the city, and there's a train station in Barn Green and it's half an hour or so from town centre in Birmingham New Street. So, you know, a good place to commute from and if you can afford the price
prices here are definitely well worth having a look at. Properties here, again, just to give you the bearings of where we are. On the left hand side, we've got the Leaky Hills <coughs> Country Park, a part of it, and also on the right hand side, too. So, we are now going to go right here. Uh, this is Twatling Road, and again, you're looking at you know, you won't get much change out of a million pounds, let's put it that way. On the left, you've got the Licky Hills Country Park, and then across the road, you've got the beautiful houses in Twatling Lane or Twatling Road. Sorry, now as I'm driving down, um, I will actually drive a little bit slower. But as I'm driving around, you might be able to see some of the houses on the right hand side. And some of these houses do have, you know, swimming pools and, and you know, beautiful gardens. <coughs> Old classic car there, very nice. Oh, yeah, and one other thing come the, the nicer weather, you get a lot of classic cars here as well. Lot of classic cars and also you know a lot of footballers and celebrities live here as well in this location I think the former Villa skipper I've forgotten his name now Jack Grealish had a house here just up the road I'll show you that shortly I don't remember what house it was but um, I do know the road I'm just gonna Indicate left here to allow the car to go past. And then we'll continue on. <coughs> but to the left you should and, and right in fact, you should be able to see um, the kind of properties in this area we've I think we're now in Barton Green, so we just just come out of just come out of the Lickies, but this is more Barton Green than the Lickies. Actually, it might still be Lickies on the way, but yeah, there's there's a crossover. I'm going to turn my car around here, but again, I've, the reason I've come into this cul-de-sac is not to get stuck, but just to give you or show you the properties here. And I'll just turn around here, and all these cameras that <laughs> these houses no doubt have, they will... If I'll turn around this way instead, because then you can see this house in front of me as well. Uh, beautiful house. I have actually forgotten the name of this road, but... It is off Twatling Road. Uh, let's see what this road was. Is it Greenhurst? Greenhurst Drive, is it? Or I don't remember. Let's have a look, see if it's written down. <coughs> well, it is a private road, whatever it was. I think it was Greenhurst Drive. Uh, if we turn left here, go deeper into Barn Green. We've got Deanhurst Close on the right, and again on the left, you can't actually. I mean, you've got gated houses again, some of them, but I'm driving through slowly so you can see some of the properties here. Run stop tour of Barn Green and the Licky Hills. Hope you're enjoying it again. Apologies for making this video so long. It was only meant to be half an hour, but we've gone beyond 40 minutes now, 45 minutes, almost 50 minutes. You can also get access to you can get access to uh, the Licky Hills Country Park on the left. So there are paths on the left here if you want to go into the country park. What I'll do is we will continue through this. And I will continue to show you the the roads in Barn Green. We'll drive through Barn Green High Street so you can see that as well. And then we'll go back out again. And 
that will conclude our tour. There's a really nice road on the left here, which I'll go into now. And it's further down. And this is where I think that, that guy you mentioned before, was it Jack Grealish or someone, did have a house or has got a house on this road here. So this is Cherry Hill Road, as you can see there. Cherry Hill Road and Barnt Green Cricket Club is on this road if you are a cricket player. And one of these houses did belong to the football person I mentioned earlier. Obviously you can tell I don't follow football, but yeah. Another very nice road. Hopefully this video has given you a good tour of the Leaky Hills and Barnt Green. And you know, just given a good shout out to this location. I don't think there's a video in this much detail online anywhere, so please enjoy this video and do let me have some comments, do subscribe, like and share. We are going to, if the car park's open, we'll just go into the cricket club as well and show you that too. Again, from here you can actually walk into the Licky Hills as well. So from Chelly, Cherry Hill, not Chelly, Cherry Hill Road, you can walk into the Licky Hills. There are many paths. Um, this one being an example of one of them. So if you go left here, you can actually go into the Licky Hills and also right as well. And if you were to continue right, you'd end up at the train station. The Barn Green train station. going on but this is the cricket pitch and I'll just park here for a few seconds so you can see the cricket pitch so this is Barton Green Cricket Club uh, just off Cherry Hill Road got some building work going on at the moment and so if you like your cricket, by all means come down, sit on one of the benches and watch the cricket. Obviously there's no match, no match playing at the moment. Uh, what we'll do now is if we continue left, we'll come back out onto Bart Green High Street. And I can show you the High Street and then we'll drive through some more roads in Barton Green and then we'll call it a day because I think my battery is about to die and also maybe the memory <laughs> on my phone is probably almost full. So I will go right here, let's go right here. Uh, oh yeah, I'll show you the train station as well. So I'll go right here. It says shopping centre on the left. That is the High Street, which serves both the Lickies and also Barn Green. There is no High Street really for the Licky Hills, but this is the, the main one. This is Barn Green High Street, uh, so which serves this area. So both the Licky Hills and also Barn Green itself, both villages. I'm just driving through, and on the left, you've got the, the other primary schools. So you've got two primary schools here. One slap bang in the middle of the Licky Hills, and this is Barn, uh, Barn Green Primary School, St Andrews Church of England First School on the left. And then you've got a uh, you know, small number of shops at the bottom, which I'll show you shortly. But the station, the train station, is on the right hand side here. So the train station is on the right hand side, so I'll just pop in. Hopefully, I don't need to pay anything, but I'll just show you. And again, you've got a lot of cars parked here because people do park here, there and everywhere. And 
when they are commuting or going to wherever they need to go. And I think they do have an AMPR here. But what I'll do is I'll just turn the car around here. But this is actually the, the train station. So you can see Bonnet Green train station here. And it says charges apply after 20 minutes. So I'm not going to be here that long, probably just a minute or so. Um, so I don't need to buy a ticket, hopefully. Uh, automatic number plate recognition is operation at this car park. So my number plate would have been taken down by those cameras. But I'm not going to stop the car. I'll just turn around here and go back out again. But yeah, this is Barton Green train station just off the high street. This is one of the entrances. There's also an entrance across the road as well. So what we'll do is we'll come back out and then I'll sh go continue through the high street. And then hopefully we've got five to 10 more minutes and we're done. So this is Barn Green High Street in front of us. There's a Tesco here and you know, a few of the shops as you can see as we drive through. There's a Chippy and I think there might, there's hairdressers as well. And funnily enough, a charity shop or, or two, which appear to be everywhere nowadays. And a post office and some estate agents. And Tony's Handyman, which is DIY shop. So you've got Tesco Express on the right hand side, a doctor's surgery and dentist as well. So I'll continue through here. So you've got the doctors on the right. and turn around. So this is the doctor surgery in Barnt Green. Barnt Green surgery. Obviously I'm not going in, I'm only just turning the car around. So let's turn the car around. As you can see, the car park is almost full. So let's turn the car around. And come out of the surgery back into Barton Green, just a few more roads to show you in Barton Green and hopefully you should have a good picture now having watched this video of this location. So you've got Sandhills Lane here, let's go into Sandhills Lane, you've got the Barton Green Dental in front of us and you've got a G-Wagon coming towards us. So if you are into your cars, that is a beautiful G-Wagon in black, only, only colour really to have a G-Wagon in, in my opinion. And you've got a few of those here in Barn Green and the Licky Hills. So you've got X3, X5, you've got a Defender, Jaguar, just to get some of the cars. And some smaller cars. Another Defender. Have picked up in the video. Not sure you have. <coughs> I'll just drive down straight ahead onto Bittle Lane. So we're still in Barn Green. I'll just show you around here a little bit. I've actually driven about 14 or so miles now, almost 15 miles, on this whistle stop tour of the Licky Hills and Barn Green. like there's roadworks here so I'm not going to go that way I'll just go left we we'll go left here so I've done the high street um, we're still in in Barn Green and we'll just drive past the other entrance to the straight to the train station so you can see that as well I'm not sure what my battery is saying at the moment I can't see that 
as I'm driving. I uh, just let the the camera do its job, and if you run out of battery, then so be it. Uh, but we will continue. So a nice Porsche coming towards us. I think that's a is that a Macan. And if we go left here, and this car's trying to kill everyone. Not sure what she's doing. But left here is actually the train station further down, but. This here is actually a commuter car park. So when they built these houses recently, probably five or so years ago, these are new houses here. <coughs> I don't remember what was here before. Perhaps it was a field. <coughs> they built these this car park for commuters. So if you are commuting into wherever you're going, whether it's Birmingham, Worcester, Bromsgrove, Redditch, but you can park here for free, which is pretty good at the moment. Might change in the future, but for the moment, Barn Green Commuter Car Park is free parking um, as dictated by Barn Green Parish Council. This is one of the new estates here, and what I'll show you is a quick drive through here. I'm not really into new houses myself, but yeah, this is a new estate, new ish, not brand new, new ish estate in Barn Green. I don't remember exactly when this was built but I'm guessing around five or so years ago. And again you've got several houses here worth over a million pounds. It is not a cheap location. So I'll drive through here, turn the car around and we'll continue. I'll show you a couple more, well a few more roads in Barn Green. So let me just turn the car around here. We're now over the hour, but that's okay because it's a beautiful day. 17 or so degrees outside, the sun is shining and I've driven for over over 15 or so miles now. I'm driving a diesel. Diesel is expensive at the moment, but hey, let's continue. So if I go right at the bottom, we will, I'll show you the other entrance to Barn Green Station. parked here so pe these people would have gone um, somewhere to park the cars here and then go away for the day or days or whatever the, whatever's happening in their life because the train station is over here so on the left here is Barn Green train station the other entrance to the train station there's no car park on this side just this road So this is Barn Green Trade Station. So Barn Green Train Station. Let's continue. And to the right, sorry, is, is another entrance to Barn Green. Not Barn, sorry, Leaky Hills Country Park. Go left here 
so I'm going to go left. If I go left here onto Lindhurst Road, uh, you can see some of the properties on this road as well. So further down on this road uh, is a bridge. This road actually goes over the M42. So the M42. some of the houses. So I don't know if you can see the nice Porsche going past. I think that was a KM. I'm just going to drive past slowly now. So you can actually see some of the properties here. But again a very very nice road. Another nice road is this one. Most of the properties here are gated, as you can see, um, so everyone takes their security seriously. Lindhurst Court to the left. Property for sale, if anyone's interested. So we're driving towards the M42 here. And what we'll do is we'll drive over the M42 to turn around and then we'll call it a day. So we're driving towards Blackwell which is the next village up. So Blackwell is the next village up. And we'll just go over the M42. So in front of us is the M42. Just turn around at the bottom and go back up again. So this is now the M42. Just driving over the M42 and I, I think there should be somewhere for me to turn around and we'll do that. I'll just turn around somewhere and we'll go back out into Barn Green which is what and then the Lickies and we're done. So unsuitable for HGVs, obviously. Let's turn the car here. So let this van go past. And I can turn around. Dale Hill, there you go, I'll turn around in Dale Hill. So back over the bridge and onto let's have a look, let's have a look. <coughs> so back over the M42, so this bridge is over the M42. We'll turn left here. I think this is, is it Pike Hill perhaps? So Pike Hill. So you can see, look, there's a lot of um, very, very um, tree, lots of trees, fields, and greenery in, in the Licky Hills and Barn Green. So, yeah, we're almost at the end of our tour. So, hopefully, you've enjoyed this tour. That's Billy Lane. I'm not going to go through Billy Lane, it's a very tight road. But what we will do is maybe go through. Yeah. And we'll go to Shapley Road. So this is Shapley Road. And um, so you can see uh, a lot of these houses, in fact, I think all of these houses will have 
good security cameras. Another tree lined avenue or road. Very, very nice road this is as well. Some of these houses have got very large gardens. There you go, someone going for a run with their dog. There's a house for sale. There, Brookhouse Road is the road in front of me. Brookhouse Road, uh, if you ever need to know where I'm at. And what we'll do is we will go left here. And I hope you enjoyed this tour of Barnt Green and the Licky Hills. As you can see, it's a beautiful location, and there's a reason why it's the most affluent place, one of the most affluent places in. Worcestershire and the West Midlands and hopefully this video has allowed you to understand that and definitely if it's an area that you'd like to look at further by all means go to the Leaky Hills Country Park, park up in the car park, go for a walk, do what you need to do, have a picnic, don't light a barbecue and they don't allow that although people do still do that and yeah, definitely enjoy yourself. I'm going to go to Mears Lane here on the right hand side. Another amazing road. I'll drive up this road slowly as we go back. So I think we're still in Barn Green, but um, Barn Green moving into the, into the Licky Hills. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of this amazing, amazing location here in the UK. So if you're watching this video, from outside the UK and ever wondered what the UK looks like, um, we do have some very, very nice locations here in the UK where you can move to and spend your time. Beautiful manicured hedge on the left, not something I can do myself, so you will probably need a gardener if you were to live in, in a house that's that. And that beautiful house there on the left. So this tour's been about 20 miles or so. Uh, it's been fun, especially since it's a nice day. I will just park here for a second to let the car behind me go past, or the van behind me to go past. And then we'll continue on. <coughs> on the right, is a road that, let's just go through this road, I'll show you Plymouth Road, uh, which is a very nice road as well, and we'll just turn around and go back up Mears Lane, and I don't think we're done. It's a very nice road, um, houses with large gardens, but what's happened is that a lot of the owners have sold their gardens or parts of their gardens, and developers have moved in, so you will see old and new here. So you will see old and new. Let's go, go into... No, I'll continue. Uh, let's have a look at this road. Just to give you an example. On the side roads off of Plymouth Road. So you can see the houses here as well. Nice house at the top there. I'll turn around here. I'm just thinking the owners of some of these properties will wonder. What's this guy doing driving around for an hour in the Licky Hills? But yeah, it's all good. It is all good. And my tank is almost empty as well, so I only had a little bit of diesel in, but hey. Here. 
So you can see that van in front of me, Francis Homes. Um, they are building more houses here. Hence the, the roadworks and so on. Plymouth Drive and then come back out again. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this tour. And another very, very nice house there in front of us. That looks like the White House to the left. way around this roundabout but this road looks like it needs a bit of work as well and what we'll do is we'll we'll go back onto Mears Lane shortly a lot of trucks there again houses being built new houses being built houses being renovated and it's all happening here So we um, park here for a few seconds while this car gets past, and then I just want to show you this house as well, which caught my attention as I drove past, and you'll be able to see it as I turn the car around. So, Malvern View, just check out this house. This just happens to be a car behind me. Ah, but who cares, hey? to Mears Lane and we're done and even off Mears Lane you will see there is at least one I think gated area to that, to that road or lane there's a bloody truck again all these trucks going around I feel sorry for some of these people with all this road works and houses being built in your back garden all that dust. Francis Holmes again in front of me. And we are now on Mears Lane almost. So Mears Lane in the front and then the tour is over. So you can see that in front of us, Mears Lane. Back onto Mears Lane. Oh, just one thing, if you're here in the dark, there's not much you can see, so you will need a torch, because it gets very dark here. Especially some of these country roads. Just driving up slowly so you can see some of the properties here as well. Another house for sale. the gated properties. Anyway, my name's Roger. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to call it a day. It's been a long video. Um, hope you've learned something. So the Licky Hills and Barton Green. Um, I've just shown you around. Hopefully this is, I think this is probably the, the most comprehensive tour of these locations online. And 
I'll be uploading this video today and once I get back to the office. Thank you for your time, please do subscribe, like and share and I will see you all shortly.